Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable and just relax. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Yes, and you will be in on the madness that is my channel. <laughs> Ah, oh, seriously. Anyway, so we have a wee black box from Madame Glam. There's a wee story that goes with this, which I'll get into just shortly, but let's just see what we have here. <laughs> so this is the rubber base collection, as you can see, and they are beautiful. So I'm going to show you what their normal base coat looks like, and it's just your standard base coat, quite runny and consistency and does the job and then this is Indonesia I'm sure and this is showing you just how thick these base coats are now I know it says rubber base coat but it isn't made from rubber it's basically gel and it's somewhere between um, the standard base coat and building in a bottle so it's softer than building in a bottle but a bit more harder than um, the normal base coat you can't build any nails with these. These are basically for the natural nail to give them a wee bit more strength, but flexibility with that strength. Um, you can also use, I'm going to show you how you can also use them in designs as well. I thought I might as well, while we were here showing them. <laughs> so it can give you some extra ideas on how you could use these, because a lot of people would just think, right, that's a base coat. I can't do anything else with it. But there's, there's a few things you can do. Yes. <laughs> anyway, like I said, there's a wee story that goes with this. So I actually hadn't ordered these and Madame Glam hadn't sent them to me like they do sometimes. This was a, a complete accident because I had actually put in an order um, and the order went wrong. <laughs> but I'm glad it happened because it has shown me as a customer just what they are like with customer service and how they... Um, are basically with their, their customers when something goes wrong. So yeah, it's it turned out really well and I'll get into explaining a bit more about that as we go along. This actually, this one here, I have to say is probably my fave. It's my fave. I love it. Shh. <laughs> so first off, we're going to use Indonesia and I'm going to do two coats of that on the nail. Now yes, I'm doing this on an extension um, basically to show you the kind of art you can do with it. You could put it over the top of an extension for the background colour. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to... You could do this on natural nails as well. Um, I know I'm doing it on a long nail, but you can you can scale it down to fit a normal length nail. <laughs> as usual, I'm great at explaining. So as I've done two coats of that, I'm then putting on a wee thin coat of base coat. I'm taking Snake Bite from Nail Sugar. I don't think I've used this one before. It's beautiful. <laughs> so as you can see, the base coat is quite sheer. So I'm going to use it on the tip and I'm going to do a glitter fade. A wee glitter fade. So we're just going to take it, sprinkle it on and pat it in. It's very simple. So yes, yeah, so I, I hadn't ordered these, like I said, and it was an accident. But I am very, very impressed with them as a company because they did everything and more to fix this. And for me, it's really important that um, anything that I am sharing with you, I am confident in both their brand, their um, customer service and their products. So yes, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, getting back to this nail, I'm just wiping off in between at the minute, I've just tried to kind of feather that glitter up so that it's fading a bit. And then I'll wipe my, my brush off and then just take the excess and, and rub that up. Rub that up the nail to just, yes, fade it. <laughs> so yeah, um, so what happened in the end up, they compensated me for the gels that hadn't arrived because some of them had arrived and that was fine. I'm just taking some base coat here, as you can see. We're going to use the normal base coat just to go over the glitter to encapsulate it. I'll do two coats of that. Um, where was that? <laughs> um, also make sure that you wipe off your brush before you put it back in the pot because if there's any loose glitters as you can see then that's going to look you can see that there you're going to get that in your base coat and contaminate it. The other thing is you can you can keep a normal base coat um, and use it just solely for 
doing glitters. Uh, so I've then filled and buffed that into shape once I've cured the base coats twice and I'm going in and top coating now as you can see isn't it just so pretty um so yeah so the fact that they reimbursed the money they also told me to keep these gels and every time I emailed them they were super quick at getting back to me which I'm really happy about because I didn't think they would be right on to Vietnam <laughs> this is a kind of brownie nude would you say Again, I'm going to do two coats of this before we start doing the redesign. Um, so yeah, the fact that they kept answering my emails really quickly, every time I had an issue or a question, they would quite happily get back to me and fix it. Again, once I've cured that, I have then buffed the surface into shape, filed and buffed it, and now I'm adding some striping tape. Now the trick with this is, um, cut it just shy, just short, of the free edge and at the side here as well just short so that when you encapsulate that it's not going to um, be able to peel you're not going to be able to pick that off you want to make sure that that can't happen so I'm just going to do that again here quick simple design with this one a couple of strips of striping tape again just cutting it a wee bit short there we go Once I've done that, I'm going to, again, double base coat, just the normal base coat. If we had a, a clear rubber top coat, I need to actually check that. I don't think there is one. That'd be great if they could have one of those then, because you would just need a wee top coat of rubber top coat. No, rubber, I rubber top coat would be good as well. <laughs> base of rubber, rubber base and top, just clear, would be fantastic, because it would help this process go a wee bit quicker. <laughs> But while, we're, while we don't have that, we're using normal base coat and then top coating. Seriously, this is my brain. It, it runs 100 miles an hour and is all over the place. So you're probably going to find that this is going to be a bit back and forward here. <laughs> is, I can't remember the name of this one. Um, it's the light pink one. I'm sorry, I missed it when I was gabbing. <laughs> Again, I'm going to do two coats. In every nail, I'll do two coats unless I'm doing something in between that. But I will talk you through that. So I've done two coats and directly into that dispersion layer, I'm just pressing in some of that metallic pink foil. And then I'm taking Polka Bunny, which is a shiny top coat with some white matte glitter in it. And as you can see, it's super pretty. I quite like this one as well. Um, I'm taking the black gel paint and then my long fine liner as well from Madame Glam. All of it from Madame Glam. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull that down in a wee swishy line. Doesn't matter if it's perfectly straight or it. We don't really want it to be because it's a wee it's a wee bit of foliage. Because you know how I like my foliage. <laughs> so I've just made a straight line down the centre and then I fill it out into a leaf shape. Again, we lined and then fill it out to create that leaf shape and pull it. Now, when you want to get a fine point at the end, you want to be as light as you possibly can, um, like the pressure that you're putting on the brush, as light as you possibly can, and that makes your lines finer. The more pressure you put on, the thicker your line's going to be, and the less, th the less pressure you put on, sorry, the finer your line will be. So I'm just going to do that all the way down this nail. And then I'll cure it. You can... You can um, flash cure it in between as well if that's going to help you so that if you knock it or whatever, that's okay if it's flash cured and you're not going to have to wipe it off and start again kind of thing. So yes, back to the story. Story time again. <laughs> so yeah, so every time I messaged them, um, they were quite quick to get back to me and they reimbursed me by sending me a gift card, a gift voucher, so that I could then use that on my next order. Um so now I just have to wait for the products that I was wanting to come in sorry the products that I was wanting to come back into stock so that I can order them because it's the it's the one collection that I've really really wanted and been waiting for Madame Glam to release I didn't know if they were going to but I had a feeling they might and when they released it I was like this is amazing I have let I have been waiting for this <laughs> moment <laughs> and then when I order it it all goes wrong <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just doing another wee bit of foliage down the bottom there. Um, but in another sense, I don't feel like it went wrong. It actually went right because sometimes you don't always get what you want. You get what you need. And this has settled me in knowing that I trust this company and I trust their products and I know that they will fix anything that is, you know, is needing fixing. Um, and that was that wee foliage leaf nail. I hope you liked that. <laughs> so now we're going on to the darker pink nail. Now, see these pinks? These would be absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> they'd be absolutely brilliant for quartz nails. They really would. They'd be perfect for that. Um, sorry, I'm just a wee bit, yeah, I told you, it's all over the place today. So like I said, you don't always get what you want, but you get what you need. And um, this has given me so much more than just some gels. We're using some Once Upon a Time. I love this glitter, it's full of iridescence and hollow and it's just beautiful. I'm sure there's some metallic in there as well. Um, so yeah, I think sometimes... You don't get what you expect, but it's more than you actually thought you would get. So I thought when I had these gels, I couldn't just take them and not do anything with them. Um, before I continue, as you can see, I'm doing a reverse fade. So this one is coming from the cuticle and going down the nail. Um, and I'm just going to do the same as I did on the other one, but just in the opposite direction. Um, so yeah, uh, for me, I want to put out something positive because a lot of the time these things can go wrong and don't have a good outcome, but in this experience it has been really good and I think that deserves recognition. Also, um, I think I kept in mind the fact that no matter if it's a big company or a small home run company, uh, things can go wrong, but it's how they, de they deal with that situation. If they do it in a way that is helpful for the customer um, and if they resolve it in a polite and helpful manner and I definitely found that with this. Um, so that's the main thing, you know, and just bear in mind that these things can happen. Uh, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> I hope that's been a good wee TED talk today. <laughs> I basically went round the world to tell you that my order came, it wasn't what I ordered completely, and that um, they fixed it. <laughs> Reimbursed me and gave me these gels as well. So there. There we go. <laughs> oh, seriously. Anyway, we're on to Thailand, because we are travelling the world with my wee story. Um, this is a milky white. Uh, there's so much you can do with a milky white. I love it. I love milky whites. Have I said that enough, milky white? <laughs> So here we've got Spot Me, which is the complete opposite to Polka Bunny. With Polka Bunny, if you want to have it matte, you would have to put it on, cure it, then give it a buff, and then shiny top, no, 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 matte top coat, brain fart. <laughs> and the same goes with the Spot Me. If you want to have it shiny, you just put it on, cure it, and then put, you can put a, a glossy top coat directly over the top of this because it's already matte. And I'm going in now and doing a wee swishy swoosh we swishy swish with this gold gel paint. This is the first time I'm using these gel paints and I have to say they go on like butter. <laughs> very little of it goes a very long way. It is super pigmented and it doesn't go, it's not too thick, it's just the right consistency to get nice fine art and it doesn't have a tacky layer as well which is perfect so the likes of me doing this on top of this matte nail I don't need to go on and mattify or make it glossy or anything because it's it's not tacky so it's perfect I can have shiny on matte super easily with these gel paints does that make sense <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore I have no idea no idea what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> so once I've, I've put those down, I wanted to give them a wee bit of definition because I felt like they were a wee bit lost there. So I'm using some of the black paint and I'm just going to... I was going to just do it like that to begin with, but you'll see that I end up... I do end up joining it to the other side because I just wasn't... I wasn't feeling it. I felt the black needed to be a bit more bold than the gold, just to make the gold pop a bit more as well. So I'm doing half on one side and half on the other at the minute. 
Again, no rhyme or reason to any of this. When it comes to swishes, there are no rules. <laughs> so as you can see here, I ended up joining both sides and I actually liked that better. And I just made this one a wee bit more bold as well. At one end, I made it a bit thicker and thinner at the other. Like so. And then I'm going to do the same on here. I'm going to make it connect to the other side and thicken it up in areas. There we go. Just add a wee bit more. This is the quietest I've been in this video. <laughs> now that my TED talk's done. <laughs> And there we go, that's the finished design. Super easy and quick. Right, Amazon, we are on to my fave. This is so beautiful. It has iridescence through it. It's quite a, a bright iridescence as well. It doesn't pick up as good on camera, but in person, it's such a, a vibrant pink iridescence. It's so pretty. It goes on nice and thin as well. It's not too thick that you can't use it. Um, so once I've done that, I have put down one coat, cured it, and I'm putting down another coat and not curing it. Um, and then straight into that, I'm adding moonstone and cotton candy. This is moonstone at the minute. It's beautiful. I swear, Karen, every time she brings in something new, it's like she levels up with the glitter. <laughs> She levels up. <laughs> She's in boss mode now. <laughs> this is some cotton candy that Madden and as you can see, there's fine iridescence in there. There's chunky iridescence. There's some um, solid iridescent colours. It's just beautiful. So I'm I'm making sure that I'm not putting in too much. It's a nice thin, even layer of that. So then I'm going back over it, making sure to work that gel in between those particles. Making sure to get down that side there. It's super important to make sure you work it in so you don't get any air bubbles. And then I'm just going to add another fine layer of that glitter in. I'm using the cotton candy for this because it's just a bit finer bits that I'm using. like so and I'm just going to add a wee tiny tiny amount of just the, the finer iridescence on the bits that don't have any glitter like so and again I'm going to go in and just add another coat and make sure that I rub I rub it in <laughs> I work it in <laughs> to those, gl those glitter particles <laughs> there we go Once I'm done with that, cure, then I'm going to wipe off the tacky layer, file, buff into shape, wipe off the, the dust, and then I'm just doing a nice glossy top coat. And that's six designs. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not top coat. That's base coat. <laughs> it's base coat because we're going to add some gold foil. I forgot about this. <laughs> and I'm just rubbing that in and just, you know, breaking it up a wee bit, making it bitty. Wee tiny bits down there. Once I'm happy with that, I will then go in and top coat. We're top coating now. So I hope that this video has actually shown you that you can do other things with base, the rubber base coats, because they have some colour to them. And there we go. It's a kind of opalescent type nail there. And now, it's time for Scottish Word of the Week. Hello, welcome back to Scottish Word of the Week. And I'm a wee red squirrel this week coming back for getting my messages. <laughs> okay, let's get stuck in. So I'm going to give a wee shout out to the lovely Fee, is it? And they had recreated my marble nails from a few weeks ago. Thank you so much for tagging me in the nail sugar group. Honestly, I love seeing them. I love seeing your recreations. Also, I want to give a shout out to Redshift and they said, how perfect for a Sunday morn. You, my coffee and nail stuff. Couldn't ask for more. I agree with all the others, but me, maybe no. <laughs> okay, let's get into the Scottish Word of the Week. So, the world says, beetle, spider, fly, slug and worm. 
but Scotland says beasties. <laughs> it's the it's the universal word for any bug. There you go. I hope that's been helpful. And yeah, let me know what you want me to be next week. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later. I'm away home to put my messages away. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day you say a wee, a wee squirrel pushing a trolley full of nuts, is it? <laughs> anyway, this is the final results of what I created. I really hope that this has helped you um, and inspire you and in what you could do with these. Thank you very much for watching and also a thank you to Madam Glam for being just awesome and sorting out my wee dilemma. <laughs> anyway, I hope to see you all next week. Stay creative and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>